Hi, my name is Leon and welcome to another video from Solitech Solutions. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to do a proper backup for Enterprise PDM. Backups are important to us for obviously disaster recovery and something that can be handy um, if we are making any major changes and or doing version upgrades of our software. software. So it is a good thing to um, know how to do it and uh, just to get you out of the pickle if things do go wrong. Now prior to us starting it is a good idea to make sure that everybody has checked their files into the vault and that you actually don't have any users um, currently using the vault. Once they've checked in everything what you can do as administrator is jump into the admin tool and log into your vault and simply right click and go to properties and you can block all logins to this particular vault and I'll go ahead and do that. The other thing that I'd like to point out is as an administrator of Enterprise PDM it is obviously expected of you to have familiarized yourself with the installation manual as well as the administration guide. The administration guide can be accessed from two places. You can actually access that from the admin tool as well. If you go under help, you have uh, the admin replication and web server guides. But the installation guide is found on your media disk. And if you browse to that location, you have a support folder. And if you go into there, you've got a guides folder. Go to your language and here you will find the installation guide. The steps I'm going through here is pretty much uh, an overview of the same information that you can find in the installation guide. Now to start off with, the first thing we need to back up is our databases. We have um, these three vaults in our current server and we'll just use demo one as an example. If I then open up SQL Server Management Studio, which you can find under Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2008 and SQL Server Management Studio. Um, if you run that, you will be presented with your login um, information and once you're in, this is the view that you'll have. So what we're interested in is our databases. Before I move on to that, Note that backups and other maintenance tasks can be configured under this management folder and under management plans. You can either create new maintenance plans or either use the wizard to walk you through that process. Now, if we go back to databases, the first database that we're interested in backing up is Kinesio Master Database. And it's a, a good practice to make sure you back this up with the um, vault backups as well every time. So if we right click on this, go to tasks, go to backup. We want our backup type to be full. You want your destination to be specified. If you properly configured this when you actually did the SQL installation to a predefined location, it makes your life much easier because here you can see my uh, location is predefined along with a file name. If you did not do this, you're going to have to add a location name the file as well as add the extension. So do remember to do that if that is your case. If we come up here to the top left under options, you want to select overwrite. I know that my location is cleared and I also want to verify my backups when finished. I'll go ahead and OK to that and that's that. Kinesio data, um, database is not big at all. If we now go right click on demo, tasks backup full is selected path is defined options overwrite verify okay now depending on the size of your vault this can take some time and we're done and we're pretty much finished with server management studio the next thing that we want to back up is the archive servers settings so if you go to archive server configuration now i've pinned these um programs on my taskbar you can find them under all programs SolidWorks Enterprise PDM and over here if you wanted to pin them to the front just right click and pin to taskbar so we'll run the archive server configuration and we'll go to tools backup settings 
and what you can do by default it has or include all volts selected which is a good idea in my case I'm going to do a uh, individual volt so we'll do demo one uh, because I've backed up before the backup location is predefined you can schedule um, backup schemes as well and you can specify a password which I will not do at this stage we'll launch the backup it's warning me about the fact that there's no password and we are done at this stage if we look at our backup location and in my case it's under C EPDM if you're not um, let me just first look at the backups folder just to show you what we've done is we here's our Canisio database.back file and the demo1.back file which is coming from SQL and this backup.dat was the settings that we've just backed up you want to be aware of the differences I guess between the two especially with the extensions so that when you do get to a restore situation you know which um, goes with which but um, when we go through that on a, another video then it, you'll see it's pretty um, self-explanatory anyway so if we come back to the archive server uh, what I want to show you is that if you actually go into the archives folder this is where all your vaults will be listed if you right click on demo one or any of the other vaults and you go to properties this is where you can see the path of where the data folder is located um, where uh, the archive is actually managing the files that's within the vault now this is important because this location we need to add to our backup so now that we know where it is we can close this down and actually go to that location and it was uh, underscore EPDM data and if you go in the data folder you'll see the vault folders here now the way you'll know that this is the correct folder is if you actually go into the demo one you'll see that you have a hexadecimal structure now this folder would be pretty large um, depending on how long you've been using enterprise PDM so um, backing this up can take some time now what I normally do is I simply um, send this to a compressed file which is um, my preference but you can just copy and, and drop that into a location on some sort of portable media or whatever you prefer so I'm not going to run that now I've already done it because it does take a little bit of time and um, here we have that demo one dot zip file I will then take this and actually copy and um, place it in my backups folder now I did not move it so I didn't right click and cut that file because that's just my preference I don't like to work um, like that if you actually um, are moving files and your system crashes or something then uh, you might have to go through that whole process again because you can't be certain that nothing got corrupted during that process so that's just a bit of I guess uh, force of habit from my side now for completeness what I also like to do is to actually add to this backup package if you like an export of my vaults configuration so if we jump back into the admin tool for EPDM I'm going to make an export of this demo vaults configuration but before I can do that I have to permit logins again so with that activated I'll simply right click on the vault and whoops not import but rather export and this export captures the entire vaults configuration so simply select the top level save point it to the um, backups location which I already have give it a meaningful name for example demo one and uh, the version of the installed EPDM plus the service pack now if you don't know what that is you can find that under help and about or you can go to your control panel uninstall programs or, and um, here under the enterprise PDM under the versions column we can see what our version is at at the moment so with that named we'll go ahead and save that I'll close that down and there's that .cx extension file which is our configuration file what I then like to do is to select all of this and send this again to a compressed file which again in my case I've already done that 
and um, so I'll just clean that up and that's pretty much all there is to it I hope that was helpful to you and um, we'll be talking again soon thanks for watching